Hey guys, Crazy Nose here in the middle of Union Square on this beautiful, beautiful April day. Sun is shining, birds are chirping, the flowers are in bloom. My allergies are kicking my ass. Anyway, <laughs> this month's discussion is going to be about black entertainment today. How do we feel about it? Me? I know that being that Ernest Morrison, the first person to get a Hollywood contract, Gordon Parks, the first African-American Hollywood director, Eddie Murphy, the first person to get a million dollars to do a picture in 1982. That's where we're coming from. We got more to go. So here's how I feel about everything coming. Let's go. Television. In today's TV scene, realistically, there's a lot of shows that do not have us as main characters. We're usually just like supporting or just like secondary characters. But there are a lot of shows that are coming on TV right now that are going to be like putting us in the forefront. September 1968, star of stage and screen Diane Carroll stars in the show Julia, which makes her the first African American actress to have her own TV series. 34 years later, Kerry Washington is starring in the new hit show Scandal on ABC, which is a depiction of Judy Smith, a former George Bush press aide. Big shout out to Loretta Devine for winning an Emmy for Best Guest Actress on the drama series for Grey's Anatomy. Go Loretta! Also, congratulations to Idris Elba for winning Best Actor in a TV miniseries for his show on BBC, Luther. Here we are in one of my favorite places, the movie theater. Movies is another black entertainment topic. A lot of the times we have these movies where it's like these blockbusters and everyone, you know, we all get our share to be in roles. But the fact of the matter is, we need to start supporting our independent films at our independent theaters that showcase us. A lot of the independent films of last year were either underrated, unseen, or even unknown. The biggest one was Pariah, a movie starring Adobra Odoya and her beautiful performance as Lee, a young girl trying to find out about her life and sexuality. Being Elmo is about Kevin Clash, the puppeteer of Elmo, who we all grew up and loved together, and Ken Rwanda is a Rwandan love story. Broadway is the only reference I can think of right now when it comes to entertainment that has us in the forefront. We're always having lead roles and lead entertainment and things like that, even if it's a show that, that's been created or a revival. Theater is the way. Broadway, we always have a voice and we always have presence. And a few examples of new presences are... Last year's big hit on Broadway was the August Wilson revival of the play Fences, which starred Viola Davis and Denzel Washington. Both of them took home the Tony Awards for Best Actor and Best Actress. This year, in 2012, we had Mountaintop, which starred Angela Bassett and Samuel Jackson. This year's revival is the Gershwin play Porgy and Bess, starring Audra McDonald, Broadway veteran and TV actor David Allen Gray. Sister Act the Musical, based on the movie star Whoopi Goldberg, who also is producing the musical, is bringing to the stage Raven Simone. My favorite coming to the stage will be the revival of Streetcar Named Desire with an all-black top star cast. Go see it. It's already in previews. So, in closing, I showed you guys all of those things and gave my personal opinion about how I feel about the state of black entertainment to showcase the fact that we've come a long way from the days of Dorothy Dandridge and Ruby Dee and everybody in that era to where we are now we have Denzel and Halle and Monique and Octavia and Viola we've come from such a rich 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 start in Hollywood from then to now even though we might have to go back to then to get us to go forward we got to do it so hope you guys enjoyed what I showed you guys and everyone have a great week see you guys soon peace and love and please down the box Check out the videos, subscribe to the channel. I know I'm not on YouTube, but my channel. And you know, if you like it, don't like it, just let me know. Love you guys. I know you're probably wondering like, why am I like clean shaven now? Last couple of seconds you see me just like bare. I had to get this taken off. I can't be looking like, you know what. Anyway, peace and love.